Good morning. Morning. Where are we? Uh, Bar Bridge, actually. Bar Bridge. Mm -hmm. The nice pub is over there to the left. It's been a bit noisy, but we're no, very... John, you can't moor against a pub and then say it was uh, noisy. I know. I mean, the thing is, when I, when I, when I was a lad, kids would be like half half nine, they'd be away from the pub, but these days it's, it's like 11 o'clock and they're still playing. <laughs> anyway, we're heading towards Beeston. And everybody knows that there's a castle at Beeston. But not everybody knows that there are two castles at Beeston. And I'm going to tell, when we get there, a very eerie tale about the second castle. <laughs> Gansey back on, not because I'm cold, because it's burning me back, and I foolishly got a black t shirt on. And Tom's down below, and there's no one to go and get me at. Planning. Yeah, I was just reminded that the last time we came down here was in Mucker. Yeah, there was weeds and bad, but the main thing was Ethel had the first head on crash. And there is a video about it. And if I, by the power of magic of ding, I don't know if it's that side or the other side, I'll put a link to Ethel's first. You are getting really quite up your own arse. I am. If ever there's a group of sportists who are less aware of their own vulnerability than cyclists are aware, unaware of their own vulnerability, it's them. <laughs> I know, but what gets me is that they, when you say hello to them as they go past, they ignore you. He's just, he's just paddle like crazy, head on. And the only reason we I knew it was there was because Tom were... looked over the side because I can see probably half a mile stretch of canal in I mean, I'm me. sure he was trying to prove a but point or something or whatever, but he was literally doing chicken. Sorry. I can see half a, half a mile of canal in front of me, but I can't actually see water. No. No, no. And they... But, I'd like to think they're brave, but they're not. They're just... We're just passing, uh, I'm sure they, they do other things as well, but I think they're famous for um, cheese. Shoffen Cafe. Shoffen? Shoffen Cafe. But I'm pretty sure they make and sell cheese. Who's not tempted by cheese? Well, we might be on the way back. We're heading towards Bunbury, where oh, there's, a, there's a flight of two, yeah. which is famous for, what's it? What's Bunbury famous for? The locks. No idea, but Eth that's where Ethel escaped. But it, it's famous for Ethel managed to look, pull out of a harness and a collar the last time. But what's it actually famous for? Is it, it... The Bunbury shuffle. That sounds like a disease. Now, there's two double width locks together and apparently I don't know it's a bit like one of them puzzles where there's a, sp a space and you, you move everything around 
if there's two boats going in one direction and one boat going in the other direction you can all go in at the same time and then when you get on the same level one of you comes out the other one sneaks through yeah I know we're just going to have to hope that there's nobody there <laughs> unless somebody unless we get invited somebody says hey come on we're doing the Bunbury shuffle and I said well you lead and we'll follow so we'll see in a minute So anyway, we're in we're in the top lock at Bunbury Flight of Two. Now the way it works is the next lock was full, so Tom's had to go down and empty it. And then when he's emptied that, we empty the water out of this lock into that lock. And then we lower ourselves down and off we go. Well that's a theory. It's lovely here. Beautiful workshop. There appear to be lots of experts here, but no one willing to help. Mm. Well, we got through, we didn't sink, we didn't sink anyone else, success, it's got to be a good day if nobody dies, yes Ethel you can come out in a minute, I think this is Tilston Lock, it's very pretty, but Tom's not very happy because a guy started to empty the lock when we were about just by that bridge. Then again, there are some selfish people on the canal. How pretty! We'll soon be approaching Beeston Iron Lock, uh, which is slab iron sides. I was just talking to the camera. Um, the ground is unstable, so they took the decision to make it out of iron. Pro problems with it are it, it tapers in at the bottom apparently so although they're double width locks you can only go in one at a time 
and for added inconvenience there's no ladder so if you're single handing Red Bull gives you wings right I think we're at, we're at Beast and Stone Lock so there's a boat in front we can both fit in at the same time two boats coming out. Now we're just approaching um, Beast and Iron Lock and the chap that we've just come through that lock with assures me that two boats will fit in it. So you might not see us again because this isn't a waterproof camera. So we've just been to Beeston. We wanted to moor where we moored few years ago but we didn't realise it was the site of the recent breach and although the canal oh, although the canal is open the towpath's closed and there's nowhere to moor and we ran aground because it's still all silted up so we've winded we're coming back through the locks that we've just been through I want to cry oh and yesterday the glass my glasses went in the canal and now my Osmo Pocket has just gone clattering down the stairs and I don't know how many pieces it's in. But never mind. <laughs>